Hello friends, welcome back to Auto Development Tutorial video. We were discussing about the model inheritance in last uh, few videos. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the view inheritance. We had a uh, small look at, uh, into the view inheritance uh, in the first session of uh, class model inheritance, the class inheritance method. We created, a, we inherited the restored partner for view. Oh, yeah, it is. So, uh, this was the more uh, view that we created. So, we discuss about the inherit ID. This is the one that uh, causes the inheritance. So, we are providing field name inherit ID as an extra attribute for our form. So uh, these are the things that we are already giving for our form views and other views. So we will give we, uh, we will be giving the names and the model etc. But this was special. So uh, the this one is uh, relating our uh, architecture to the existing form view. Okay so we have to give the uh, reference of our existing form view so uh, this is the id of the form view that we are going to inherit and this is the model that that uh, form view that we are going to inherit is uh, defined on so how we how we can get this so uh, looking at the user interface you cannot say uh, this one is came from uh, this form view is defined under this one uh, this module or something like that uh, yeah. you see uh, in this form view uh, this is the course form view that we created you cannot say uh, by simply looking into this uh, uh, form view where this is defined in which module uh, this is defined so uh, in our open academy we only have one uh, one add-on but uh, for the sales if you check our uh, autos add-on you see the uh, the POS have all these things and the sales MRP have all these uh, supporting add-ons and uh, if you take into the sale as you see sales coupon sales coupon sales CRM there are many add-ons supporting add-ons for different small phone functionality so we cannot say uh, exactly in which for in which module this thing is uh, defined and you cannot see the id that we put like this you see uh, for the course we put an id course form view we put an id you cannot see that uh, in the user interface So open academy course we put the course form view here as an id but you cannot see that here so how we can get those that information if i want to inherit this form view how can i get the uh, model name and the, the uh, id of this form view so uh, what you have to do is switch into the development mode Okay, developer mode and you will have this bug symbol here just click on this and you if you now you uh, you are on the form view of the course you can click on this edit for you form then you will have all the details of this form view okay so the view name the view type model sequence and everything and uh, is it active or not and the structure is architecture is uh, defined here and the, the access rights if you are if we have put any access rights restrictions on this form view then uh, it will be visible here and if any views inherited this form view already it will be uh, available here so this is the one we are looking for the external id this external id is what we are looking for so uh, this course for, uh, course form view is defined under our open academy add-on that's why the open academy is coming here and then a dot 
and then the ID that we put on our form definition. You see the course form view? Yeah, so you can get the reference that you, you have to use for your inheritance from here. Okay, and you can check where you want to put these things using this thing. Okay, if I want to put uh, inside the notebook, you can check where to put after uh, insert any uh, anywhere inside the notebook. You can say just inside the notebook, or if you want to place under the uh, page one after the page one, then you can say after the page. Uh, using the XPath expression, you can say uh, uh, you can get into that location and say uh, uh, position. You can uh, provide the position attribute uh, after etc. So let's go back to our code. In this part of our form view, uh, we put notebook and the position is equal to inside. So uh, here we, uh, in this case, in this example, we haven't used the uh, XPath expression but we are using directly access the uh, tags notebook and the position put as inside so uh, then we provide up the page definition and it will uh, it came in our user interface so uh, we have the position attributes so what are the uh, values that we can go uh, we can provide uh, we can give to the position attribute let's check uh, let's have a search on our auto add-ons is it the expression uh, so the x path expression will be the you see the position inside you can provide inside that we are already provided in our example and you can use the position replace so it will replace that uh area okay replace the matched element if we has class in this example they are provide div tab with the class settings and position is equal to inside then the uh, definition that comes under this xpath uh, expression will be uh, added into the, under this division and in this case the uh, field with the name image 1920 will be replaced with the content we have here you see all this this one will be replaced so like this this one will add a group before this uh, preference contact group this group will be added before the group with the name preference contact and this will change the attribute of the field company id so uh, in this example the field company id and the position is given to attributes so the next item uh, you have to uh, have a closer look here in this example the preference contact the position before that in that case we put the tags group okay and what we are what element uh, the html your html you can use here but in this case we put the attribute as tag when we change any attribute you have to put the attribute tag and name as the value for the name should be the attribute name so it is invisible and the value will come on uh, after here it's one so invisible is equal to one uh, will become that field invisible and here also its attribute here the position is inside inside after etc so uh, these are the values that we can uh, provide for the apply for the position attribute uh, one is inside another one is replace next one uh, before after and the attributes so this is how the uh, view inheritance works and you can apply this method for the form view tree view search view and uh, many other uh, other views like uh, pivot and uh, dashboard etc 
okay uh, thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video uh, please subscribe to our channel uh, in case uh, you will be get notified about the new upcoming videos if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any odoo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to info@cybrosis.com